Staff at the GLA's new city hall near Tower Bridge are getting to grips with living and working in the futuristic structure. It's just over 24 hours since they moved in, and it seems they're a little nervous of their new environment. Political correspondent Simon Harris is there now. Simon, what are the staff making of it then? Lucy, at the moment the staff are busy taking in the view and unpacking their boxes. But they're also wondering why their telephone voicemails don't work. They're wasting time waiting for lifts which don't come or say they're going up when they're going down. They're trying to get through doors which stubbornly refuse to open. Or like me, they're just baffled trying to work out how to operate the soap dispensers in the toilets. It's a week of firsts at City Hall. The first assembly committee to use the new chamber. The first event to be held on the ninth floor, the so-called London's living room. And the first complaints about the building. Lifts don't work properly can't find your way around, still crack glass, a lot of waste of space. The centrepiece of City Hall is the chamber and a one kilometre staircase spiralling above it. Well first of all if you look at these steps they're very difficult to clamber up. I don't know who they were built for but they certainly weren't built for human beings. The fact is the huge amount of space it takes up for what purpose I do not know because I don't know anyone who's going to be using it. The only good thing about it is, standing here the other day, one could hear Ken Livingston speaking upstairs, so I actually found out one or two things he was on about. But at the end of the day, it's a grand architectural folly. And then there's security in a building which not only lets the public in, but invites them upstairs to see the view. Members of the public can go straight to the ninth floor using one of two lifts. Access to the mayor's office and everywhere else is restricted to those with security passes. Or at least, that's the theory. What nobody spotted was that the public lift arrived in exactly the same place as the staff lift, meaning anyone has access to anywhere. Until they came up with this remedy, a piece of sticky tape. The mayor declares himself a fan of open government, which is just as well with all the glass around his new office. But even Ken Livingstone wasn't expecting City Hall to be this open. So, Simon, what does the mayor say about the, uh, the problems at this grand architectural folly, then? Well, Ken Livingstone's pretty relaxed about it, saying any new building's bound to have teething troubles. But then he can afford to be relaxed, can't he? This building actually has nothing to do with him. It's a present, as it were, to Londoners from the government. And what's actually happening there now? Well, the first event, as I said, is taking place up on the ninth floor, the so-called London's living room, which I think we can see now is uh, a, a floor that is open to the public um, and is being used today to launch the Thames Festival. That's that big cultural event that happens usually in the middle of September involving street theatres and, and, and stalls along the banks of the Thames and culminating with this huge fireworks display on the weekend of the 14th and 15th of September. Uh, that takes place up there on the ninth floor, London's living room. The mayor's there. As I said, that's open, that room, to the public. So uh, if you fancy coming along to have a look, providing you don't take the lift down to the mayor's office, you're more than welcome to go up and take a look at the view. Thanks for the invitation, Simon. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> I'm so glad he washed his hands. <laughs> it's too much information.